right, Jay, let's go. <laughs> we spent a lot of money getting down here. It's a huge commitment. The key will be, can we make this gamble pay off? Failure is not an option for the hard merchandise. Are you ready? Are you ready? You ready to eat some tuna tails or what? Outer base, Reba, you ready? Yeah, we gotta redeem ourselves from last year's performance. All right, let's do it. I got this picture of Greg just to keep me motivated. That way that we keep our eye on the prize. It's very important we beat Frenzy this season. Hey, Paul, check it out. Motivation. <laughs> Let's go kick some southern ass. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. Don't shoot. God damn, don't shoot it up in the air. It, 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 it curved. Look at it curving. <laughs> I, I got it. an idea. Let's toss it up and shoot it with a shotgun. A, a real one, a loaded one. <laughs> now let the games begin. Headed out to that 100 fathom curve, bro. 20 miles to go to the promised land. It's the start of the season, and that first fish could be a $10,000 bill. So everyone is going out there trying to get that first fish. These fish could ultimately be anywhere off the coast of North Carolina, constantly on the move. But today, we're headed out to the 100 fathom curve. Right on that 100 fathom curve in that Gulf Stream water, there's a lot of nutrients, which in turn holds a lot of bait fish, which ultimately brings the tunas into that area. Let's hope they're waiting there with their mouths open, frothing. There's got to be one dumb tuna out there with our name on it. I hope so. We got to get some lines in the water, because this quota is small. The game don't last long. We want to catch as many tuna as we possibly can this season. But down here, the bluefin quota to help sustain the species is a lot smaller. And this year limits us to 42 tons. That's only about 270 fish. So this season could be over at weeks. Who knows? It's a whole different ball game than back at home. The Outer Banks in the wintertime is a rough place to fish. You've got freezing spray. And in addition to that, we've got the bridge and the inlet to deal with. The conditions are always changing. The channels are shifting. The currents are changing. If you're not on your game every day, you're going to be in trouble. It could sink you right there. It's happened before. 